I, I want to skip the break and go right to um, Hassan Giordano, who's standing by right now, political insider. Today, of course, is Super Tuesday, and there's a lot of hullabaloo going on, uh, especially on the Republican side. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming on, Hassan. Oh, always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. So what do you think today on the Republican side? Does Donald Trump have a clean, uh, we talk about a clean sweep here? Is he going to? Is he going to put everybody away? Well, well, even if he had a clean sweep, because of the proportional delegates that he's going to get today, he's not going to do a, a clean sweep. Um, he's not going to put everybody away. However, I think a clean sweep will kind of shift the momentum in terms of the party establishment yeah. and, and what they're actually trying to do in terms of not letting him get the nomination. Um, but I think Texas may trip him up. It, it'll be interesting to see, and obviously – 155 delegates up for grabs, yeah. what Texas does, because if Cruz loses his own state, or even comes in third behind a Rubio in a, in a Trump um, in his home state, which is unlikely, but if right. it happens, He's ahead I don't right see now, how yeah. he justifies staying in the race. Yeah. Uh, what, what about uh, the really lobbying that was going on yesterday? Um, I, I mean, really vigorous Republicans out saying, you can't, this guy can't win ultimately, and and don't vote Donald Trump. You know, I, I find it interesting that the establishment always wants to intervene when it's convenient for the establishment. And, and, and that's the, they don't realize that's the problem that voters have with the establishment, whether it be either party, is you're supposed to allow the voters. They're supposed to be in charge. And yet every time they voice their sentiment or their votes get cast, it seems like if it's not for the person that you want, yeah. then God forbid, how could we go that direction? Now, honestly, I understand Donald Trump may not be the most formidable candidate and, and the most glowing candidate that they want. But look, rightfully so, whether you like him or not, he's won contest after contest and continues to rack up these delegates. So it's going to be interesting if he does you know, either a sweep or has a whole bunch of delegates come out of now course we're going into march 15th which is the winner take all yeah rubio can still get very close if not win this nomination if he can get these winner take all states starting march yeah, 15th yeah. with florida and ohio but it's unlikely so are we going to have a, a, a broker convention are we going to go into the convention undecided and see the establishment pick their candidate and what does that mean for the Republican Party going forward? All right. well, and quickly, on the other side, on the Democrats, uh, Hillary seems to be ahead in, in most of these uh, states. Um, uh, does she does she put uh, put Bernie Sanders away? He's probably not going to leave either, but does she take a, a commanding lead today? Oh, absolutely. I mean, 880 delegates up for grabs today, 650 of which are just in six of those um, dozen states that they're going after today. If we saw what, if it looks like anything like South Carolina, she got 74% of the vote. I mean, blacks came out for her almost more than six to one. You're going into states like Alabama, Arkansas, and Georgia, and Tennessee, which has been her and her husband's base for so long. She certainly, without a doubt, uh, even without the super delegates, I think today begins to put Sanders. In, in, in the memories of a lot of people, and starts after today, I think you're going to start seeing her start um, alluding to herself as the Democratic nominee yeah. for president of the United States. Hassan Giordano, thanks for uh, coming on this morning. I really appreciate it.